Christ. <laughs> Don't use that tongue with me. Oh, man. Should I do the intro? This is it. Let's do it. Um, welcome to Consider Dead Podcast. Woo! Woo! Damn, Woo! Man. Brian's already excited. Oh, shit. We just started, bro. This is season three, episode eight. I think we took a little two week break. How are you, brother? We're busy. Busy, busy. Kevin's been busy. He's working double time. All days are coming up. All days are coming time. up. I save up, man. Huh? Turkey uh, time. Yeah. Well, I'm Travis from Monaca. What the fuck? I'm Dead King, brother. DJ KJ. And then we have our guest, Robert from Bali Ruin. Oh, wait, are you the drummer from Bali Ruin? You're the drummer from Bali Ruin. What? I just beatbox the drums. Damn. <laughs> Can you give us a little uh, for this episode? So uh, I think we're going to do a little. Thanksgiving special, <clears throat> little, thing. well, uh, little turkey it's just, love. Yes, yeah, Thanksgiving. Just us four. <laughs> we'll do our whiskey review. We'll do Got a movie whiskey. review. Some music. Some music. Strippers. So it's it's gonna be fun. Yeah, strippers. Yeah. 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 yeah sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Strippers. Sure. My wife is not listening to this, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Um, since Bobby's our guest, we'll let him start off with the first song. First song is by Woe. It's called No Blood Has Honor. Woo! Woo! Oh, you get it? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was uh, Woe, and the song was called No Blood Has Honor. Nice. Woo! Nice. The that blood was... has honor? Does it? <laughs> Wait. Wow. Which what blood? Honor in the blood? <laughs> My blood doesn't have My honor. Mine was exploded. No <laughs> honor. No honor. That was an epic. That, that was an epic, epic uh, black metal song. That was honor in it. There's honor in it. There's in the blood. blood. In, in the blood. blood. Yeah. The blood doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't have it's honor unless it's shed. Oh. 
Oh, oh that sounds like some wow. emo shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> Cut my Let me lick your blood to feel. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Those I love those epic, long epic songs. Heavy. But but Travis wanna cut it short? Yeah. Yeah, well, we we're cutting it about four minutes. Four minutes. So you want to hear the full song? Check out whoa. Yeah, check out check whoa. Out. <laughs> whoa, 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 Nelly. <laughs> whoa, you're gonna be like these fucking assholes. <laughs> 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 we lose one follower today. Yeah, it's like the whoa. longest black metal song I've ever heard in my life. It'd be like two minutes long. It was dope. I like it. it was my first time hearing. No, you're dope. Dope. Dope is a dope. dope. Did dope you know? Dope. Did you know Robert's the uh, the drummer from Bali? Oh yeah. yeah no way. So you said you beatbox. Can you yeah. get a little sample? A little, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I'm Travis, you not know. even missing a beat. Uh, can you slow that down <laughs> <on> the podcast? <laughs> Let's get a replay on that. <laughs> so when you guys get in the studio, how do you, like, alter the voice to make it, you know, sound like a kick, make it sound like a snare, ride? Yeah, like, who's fart. your producer? He has a little fart. Well, when you're recording, it's all done, um... That's like the mixing process, oh, and like yeah, the yeah. mastering and all that. So wow, that's beautiful, amazing. So you guys just put out a video. We did. Yeah, you didn't know. By the road, just put out a video. Oh, video. I like that band, bro. Yeah. That's a great band. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It was that really band. good. I heard the something about the singer. Yeah, he can't do solos, but he plays really good. I heard he sucks in general. <laughs> <laughs> he does vocal solos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> we should beat his ass. <laughs> we should beat his meat. <laughs> so, so, what's his song called, Brian? Come on, man. It's something about the meat part. Oh, wow. it's, called, <laughs> it's called meat boxing. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> It's called meat or recreation. Meat box to the song. <laughs> no, it's truth or meat creation. <laughs> what the fuck? This is why we can't make a podcast uh, around too much. All right, the song is called Truth or Recreation. It's on uh, Bali Ruins YouTube page. Yeah, it's Instagram. on everywhere. We really we uh, released a song like last year, but when we come to the filming, we 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 had just lost the lead guitarist. And yeah. it was during COVID, and we had technical problems. It was like, oh, man. Wow. So what made you want to pick that song to do a video for? Oh, because it was our newest song. So it was, uh, it, was, it was our uh, latest. A way to promote. Yeah. Yeah. And then Travis, my boy. I directed it, filmed it, edited it. Took me seven months, I think. No, you know, no it's just that it was it was your idea, bro. You know yeah. who pushed us for it. Yeah. Yeah, Brian came out great. Brian and the band like let me have full, full control over it. I mean, I find that's it. They let me have full control over it, which you know I wanted to put something out good for them. I want to ensure that I'm putting in my own good work, and mm-hmm. I, I think it came out really great. Yeah, it came out dope, man. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, I, I, for me, when I was looking at death metal music, it's all the same, the same style and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I did something more. I feel like I did something more creative with the music video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just everyone likes to copy each other. That's the yeah. problem. Everyone just does the trend. Like, yeah. everyone's just following the same thing so over it, and over. Yeah. And the song itself is, like, so great. And the more I listen to it while I was editing, I'm just like, this is a fucking good-ass song. I mean, mm-hmm. the song doesn't have a solo in it, but mm-hmm. it doesn't fucking need a solo. No. It doesn't mm-hmm. need it. The guitar is so good. There's so much enthusiasm from Bobby and Victor and you and your vocals. It's mm-hmm. like, I fucking loved it. Yeah, it was dope. We gotta get props to uh, Mark from uh, Patriarchy. Oh yeah, Mark, Mark for uh, doing the mixing and yeah, mastering. Mixing, yeah, it sounds yeah. sound excellent. You know, it's um, super professional. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did great work for us. He's also the drummer for uh, Chris Frost. Chris if you guys Frost, didn't yeah. know. Oh, cool. So he he did, he did great work for us. So and I mean, it, it's like that all the the freaking setbacks that came back um, that came with it. But hey, it's out and it's fucking dope. And everyone likes it, so yep. we got a good feedback from Truth them. or Recreation by Bali Ruin. Yeah. You got a YouTube, Instagram. Yeah, coming to a turkey near you. Yeah. Because Thanksgiving's yeah. coming. Thanksgiving up. death metal. Yep. Spanksgiving. Spanksgiving. Give, give some spanks when listening to the song, <laughs> watching the video. Just. just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do your turkeys, but you better stuff it. Oh, yeah. 
Well, let's wait about it, you know? Yeah. Well, but I'm not live right now, but it sounds so good. Right. The more I listen to it all yeah, over and over again, like, it is just, it, uh, the, the production Mark did was really good. Uh, the, some record, uh, some, some metal label bought all our music recently. Oh, yeah? They didn't approach us, no nothing, just bought it off. That was uh, right. Malevolent. Yeah, yeah, that was a song. Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah, let's go to the whiskey. Ready, <laughs> fool? Come on. Oh, I totally oh. forgot. Wow. So, so how was it? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do our whiskey review for this episode. And for this week, Brian bought an uh, elephant. bourbon. A bourbon with an elephant on the label. It's called Smooth Ambler. Con- uh, contradiction bourbon, 92 proof, 40% alcohol, a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. So what's the contradiction? Yeah. Contradiction. Oh, okay. oh, here we got an explanation. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Contradiction is a blend of straight bourbons. The components are weeded bourbon distilled and aged in West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Mountain. Shenandoah <laughs> River. <laughs> Uh, and so West Virginia and merchant bottled bourbon that we carefully source. We are very proud of our knack of bringing you great spirits. We hand make and and excellent spirits we hand select. And contradiction is the opportunity to enjoy a single sip. What the fuck they're written like all retarded. Contradiction <laughs> is the opportunity to enjoy in a single sip. The convergence of the two very different efforts. Whatever the fuck that means. We just lost our sponsor. So, uh, <laughs> the concept- I'm, I'm glad. I, I'm glad <laughs> I didn't read that. I would have butchered all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm probably the worst Dude, it was like literally I, all one <laughs> sentence. How do you make all that one sentence? When he read the one a few yeah. weeks ago. <laughs> that sentence is a contradiction. Yeah, that sentence is a contradiction in its own. Oh, man. Wait. I was so glad to read it. So, wait, where'd you get it at, Brian? Where I got it? Yeah. Where'd you get this bottle? store. Okay. <laughs> I got it at Bebmo. Value Mart. Yeah, <laughs> Damn, Value Mart is open still. Fuck. No, but yeah, I got it at Bebmo, and I the, what caught my attention was the freaking elephant. Yeah, there's a big mm. elephant on the label. Yeah, and I was like, damn, that fool looks like just like me. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so let's uh, let's do the test. All right, yeah. that's right. You gotta lick the, the you gotta lick yeah, the bottle. Happy Thanksgiving. Wait, wait, you gotta lick the bottle. You gotta do the sniff I'll test. Lick your bottle. So the sniff test. It smells like bourbon. Yeah, it smells like bourbon. Okay. It's actually not too bad. I didn't yeah. really need a chaser. It's, uh, oh, wow. Good. That's pretty smooth. How much did it yeah. cost? What? How much did it cost? I don't know if my account's negative, but it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was about like $27. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, so it was actually, pretty, this is really smooth. Wow. That was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I don't even not like whiskey. Not too much whiskey. into bourbon. That's one of the best bourbons. One of the bourbon bur- yeah. bourbons that I've had. I love bourbon bourbons. <laughs> yeah, bourbon? Last time we, yeah, last time bourbon. we can get a uh, Walmart brand bourbon or something. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. What, what did it say? Contradiction bourbon. bourbon. <laughs> is that the contradiction? Bro, look is at it, the back. Is it the contradiction that Please don't like read bourbon? the oh, paragraphs. Don't all read that. Please don't, don't read that. I know what the contradiction, contradiction is. Contradiction is a blend of oh, straight bourbon. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 all one so sentence. the contradiction is it's written so bad, <laughs> but it tastes good. <laughs> what That's the fuck? It's written so bad, you yeah. still got an A on it. Yeah. <laughs> you still got an A on it. <laughs> so the oh. elephant standing on a barrel. That's interesting. Uh, it it kind of makes me. It's almost like a circus. It feels like a circus in my mouth. Can we play us the next song? Right, <laughs> circus music. Circus music. But I like it. That was dope. Yeah, we have smooth done. amber spirits. I never heard of that brand. Never. Yeah, like, that's why I'm saying. It just caught me with the elephant. So I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, that's nice. And it's cool. They they sign it on the back. They put the batch number, and it says bottled by. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe Jordan. Maybe. So thank you, Jordan. You might be a friendly new batch three ninety two. If that was you, if you're listening, <laughs> Jordan's out there. Like, yes. Shout out to Jordan. Jordan, what is it? You're the man. We'll get you in for an interview. Let's do it right now. Let's call him right yeah. now. Call him. Let's you call don't him. want a speakerphone. 
Yeah, let's do it. Fuck this podcast. Get some Jordan sponsor. West get some Virginia. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain. Right. Shenandoah River. Right. Life was old there. So let's what do you think about it, Bobby? It was good. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> that was the best part. I don't even drink whiskey, man, but yeah, I would drink that. Drink it again. Mm. <laughs> Have another <laughs> shot. <laughs> Oh, Only yeah. if the elephant takes a shot too. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I'm on the <laughs> elephant right now. So let's take, let's talk a little bit about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, let's, man. Let's, do it. let's talk about yeah. Let's Thanksgiving. talk about the good parts of Thanksgiving. Well, for me, like when it comes to Thanksgiving, I don't like turkey. Right? What the fuck? Turkey's, yeah, I totally agree. Turkey's with you, dry. It, it's just dry. Like you know, oh. you, you need to put like barbecue sauce to to catch up on it to make it taste good. You don't, don't like you don't do the gravy? You don't like gravy? I mean, you can do gravy too. Yeah, it's good. You don't but put mustard? Like turkey in itself. Yeah. It's not juicy. It's, it's not, not like eating a piece of steak mm-hmm. or chicken or anything. Yeah, it's bloody. And so I'd honestly juicy. rather have the ham. Yeah, you know, I'd rather have ham. Yeah. Or, there's just the sides. I'd rather have the side of macaroni. They're on some or, prime rib or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of prime rib, that's what I bought from Costco. So I'm going to cook my own prime rib. I'm gonna do like a butter. Either you get a room temperature butter, mm-hmm. and it's not melted or anything, but you add salt and pepper, maybe some thyme, uh, parsley, and uh, garlic powder, and then you kind of rub it in the butter, and then you rub the butter all over. Damn, I wish I, rib. I wish I was that That's, prime rib. That sounds sexy. I know. I wish I was that <laughs> prime rib. That's and a oil dub. Squeeze it between your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and a little, a little yeah, smack to it. Whoa. <laughs> It's a meat boxing. That's, that's what <laughs> what the fuck? So I don't know if you know prime rib. It has to be the whole. So the outside is usually crusted. It is, and then the interior part uh, is is pink. If it's not pink, it's not prime rib. It's not. It's not. It has to be cooked that way. Amazon Prime. And prime rib. I don't know if you're on the cow. It's like kind of like the upper shoulderish part. It's like. I don't know if you own a cow, is that what he so said? <laughs> Someone's out there is like, that's right. Some cow enthusiast <laughs> <Yeah>. is like, <laughs> he's on the yeah. money. So if you ever go to try to he knows his thanks prime, rib, prime rib. store, it's expensive. The fuck was that? Damn. Was that a ghost? That's a ghost of Thanksgiving's past. <laughs> Thanksgiving past? Yeah. No. All the cows are mad. Yeah. Move. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. I'm having Thanksgiving here. I'm doing prime rib. What about you guys? Uh, usually I go over to my parents' house, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, but this year I'm probably gonna go early, maybe not stay, because Thursdays at the bar that I I DJ at. Oh, they, they're open on Thanksgiving at Scotland Yard. Yeah, so oh, they open oh, wow. they open at like six. Okay. So right. and so the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and that Friday and Saturday, like one of the busiest weeks of the year. Oh, what? really? Yeah. I guess you got to be thankful for alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so a lot of people, like, you know, get sick of their families. They're like, I want to go fucking drink. So they come out and have a good ass time. So fuck late. Fuck those people yeah. for supporting me in my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So last year, you know, I, I see my family. We have a nice dinner, but then I have to jet out, you know, because that's what I do. Jet. Yeah. Thanksgiving. So what do you do for Thanksgiving? Now that you have a family. Me? Yeah. yeah. Do you? <laughs> I contemplate suicide. <laughs> my depression kicks in. Yeah. yeah. Drink good. a bottle. Drink a bottle. Drown yeah. my sorrows. Mm. Be my wife. Yeah. All the good stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, usual, I, usual. Not usual. no, I'm going to go to my parents' house. <laughs> do you bring the your fam? Yeah, we just go to the grandparents' house and yeah. do the regular... Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, turkey, yeah. ham, stuff. But all, stuff. all the traditional, all yeah. the traditional stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, so it has to be. Yeah, I make a good cranberry sauce. So you do? Yeah, make we had we had Friendsgiving yeah. last year. So la- last year we had Friendsgiving at my place. Was was also Lord of the Rings night? Yeah, we watched the fellowship. Yes. The fellowship. Man, I've been itching to watch that trilogy again. Hell yeah! Well, well I'm gonna start up Lord of the Rings night at my house again. Oh shit! Yeah, things have been redone. Are you serious? Nice, we could yeah. do an episode on on that too. Yeah, we could do. Brian right would like that. We could do it right now. You could have yeah. a reaction cam, like for the people that haven't <laughs> set it up. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching reaction cam. For the people that are falling asleep, just like 
<laughs> the director's cut? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> May it be. So yeah, at this her. moment, Frodo was a bitch. <laughs> Oh, shit. At this moment, as they look the shire, people are already. <laughs> Have you seen that meme with uh, where it says Sam chose Frodo to be the ring bearer for his wedding? The <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just him laughing. Yeah, and there's and there's like flames in the back, and Sam laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's, oh, I shit. thought about that's some fucked up shit. Like, yeah. I don't know what's up shit. Not again. Right? <laughs> and bro, you gotta hold him one more <laughs> ring, bro. I'd imagine that'd be pretty traumatizing for Frodo. Yeah, if he did <laughs> these moments. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you know. We all have <laughs> our traumas. <laughs> we all got our traumas, but yeah, Frodo just. Finger. Oh, uh, like, oh he got his finger bitten off yeah, of that yeah. shit. I totally forgot about <laughs> that. That precious. Level, oh, man. Bobby, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Normal white people shit. White people shit? <laughs> yeah. Dried turkey. Dried turkey. Dried Stuffing. stuffing. <laughs> are you are you gonna eat the the dried turkey? I have to. You have to? Yeah. I have to pretend to enjoy. If I don't eat it, I get beat. <laughs> they, they beat your wow. meat. <laughs> they meatbox me. <laughs> the whole family? Oh no! <laughs> they take it wouldn't be white. <laughs> that wouldn't no, be a traditional didn't. southern uh American uh, what white do you, Thanksgiving. Yeah. What are you doing, you step horse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we and Bobby well, were laughing really at like a that. Whole new genre there is a whole genre. Yeah. There was a video we saw, I guess this girl scratching like the inner thigh of a horse. And it looks like she's jerking No, the horse she was disseminating him. Oh, oh, is that what she so, was doing? Yeah, she was trying to, she was getting semen from the horse. Oh, when they put that big old tube on him? Oh my god. I don't know. She no. looked like she was hands only. <laughs> so like they're breeding. Yeah, but it's like after she does that, like it goes to a guy transforming to a horse. He's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, whoa. You know, know that filter on that TikTok? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's exactly it's what like, it is. <laughs> but <laughs> all the comments were like, what are you doing, step horse? <laughs> Oh man, that show's great. Oh, oh, I missed that video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, <laughs> All right we're, we're gonna go to. We're gonna take our break. We're gonna go to the second song. Should I do it? Or can... You do it, yeah. Uh, so, second song is by Ghost. Uh, there's a, a, one of their EP albums that I, I didn't know about. And it's a <laughs> two song EP album. It's called Kiss the Go Go. And basically, it's about uh, intercourse, fornicating with Satan. Fornicating. That sounds painful. Spooning. But, but, but. But there is a, a six. It sounds like a '60s song. It sounds like a Beach Boy song with the, uh, what's the, the organ. The it's organ. an organ piano in it. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a straight up '60s song. So it sounds all fucking nice and shit. But then it's about tempting the of uh, fornicating with Satan. Yeah, the Satan does want to fuck you. So. Sounds like my aunt. <laughs>
we are back. That was Kiss the Go Go by Ghost. Probably my yeah. favorite band right now. Revolutionizing the black metal scene. Yeah. Bro, you, bro, you show that band to every band that comes in. I know, right? I know. Wait, this, is, this is the Ghost. This is the Ghost. Are you using the Ghost? It's but, not, they're not bad, man. No, they're not bad. Yeah. They're, they're, they're a whole new. Didn't they genre. change uh, singers? Did they? The singer's no, singer. the only one. No, it's only the only. He's the only the on a different one. mask. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. He puts on different prosthetics for every album that he does. He's like a different type of pope. I see. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, but I don't know much uh, backstory to Ghost, but yeah, Ghost is dope. I kind of like. I compare him to like a modern King Diamond in a way. He yeah. is a modern with the King mask Diamond. and yeah. like you're yeah. the sole original member of your band, and you the you book. write the music, you change the members, and like the melodic yeah. sounds. The the, the, there is no ghost without him. Yeah. That's basically what that's it is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, completely. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our movie review, and it was a movie we've been highly anticipating. We have. Yeah, that uh, Dune. Dune. Dune, the new Dune, the remake. Dune. And it's by one of our favorite directors, Denis Villeneuve. Denis. Is it really a remake? Denis. Is it really a remake? Villeneuve. But, uh, yeah, it's a remake. It was a book in the 60s. I know know they made that movie, but I don't know. You're on totally different levels, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, uh, I guess I shouldn't say remake then. It's a different version, a revisioned version. And, uh, Anyways, by excellent director. Yeah. Denis Villeneuve. <laughs> He's done uh, uh, yeah. one of Kevin's favorite movies, The Arrival. Arrival, yeah. Uh, Sicario. Uh, one of yeah. our all of our favorite movies, uh, uh, Blade Runner 2049. Prisoners. Oh, yeah. Prisoners. Prisoners is crazy, too. Everybody can recognize the movie. Anyways, yeah. excellent director, and uh, it's an epic tale. It's a, it's a, the book's so big, they had to make the movie into two parts, and... Uh, yeah, I think this movie is what three hours. Uh, like two, two and, and a half. half. Yeah, it was yeah. two and a half hours. There's a you know it's it's has a lot of Game of Thrones vibes with different families on different planets yeah. fighting for territory and control and uh, a lot of A list actors in it. Hell yeah, yeah. And a lot of A list actors and um, I was you know everything you expect in a science fiction film, it was there. Like, mm-hmm. You know the 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 writing was excellent. The acting was excellent. Uh, there's a lot going on, but I was able to follow along the whole time and understand yeah. what was happening, yeah. and um, uh, it ended up, you know, they set it up for having part two. Yeah, which Next is time. it's going to be really exciting. I mean, they have even to more epic. It, yeah. was, it was a lot to yeah. talk about, but you know, now it's just I, I like how the whole camera scenery. And yeah, the scenery. And, the yeah, exactly. It was just beautiful. Oh, yeah, it was a beautiful costume movie. design, setting design. Yeah, yeah it's it definitely was, is. I think it's. Definitely gonna get nominated for best picture. I don't think it. I think it. I'm calling it now. We're gonna put money down. We're gonna twenty bucks. I'm saying it's gonna get nominated for seven Oscars. Yeah, it's gonna nominate for multiple categories. That's seven. Sure. I'm. I'm gonna say seven yeah. categories. Are you gonna put it's twenty dollars for yeah. multiple categories? Best scene boy. <laughs> best scene boy. Boy. <laughs> Best emo uh, scene. So best so thinking. so better than Ren from uh, Star Wars. Ah, uh, who is who is yeah. the better scene boy? Oh, uh, I I guess we got to see where Paul, who's Timothy Chalamet's character. If you're talking about the new Star Wars, we got to see this the, is by far better than the new Star Wars. Yeah, we got to see his arc. Yeah. And I know the book readers, you know, you know where Paul ends up. You know what happens after. But how many, Kylo's arc is I actually love that. How many books yeah. are involved with? Oh, there's so many. So there's so many there's books. So but many. this one that's coming out is just based on the first book. Okay. Yeah. So after I think um, I think the original author so it's kind of similar to Tolkien, so the original author did maybe three or four, and then his son took over, which is what Tolkien did. His son took over. Yeah. Similarly, and did Return of the Shadow. All these things that we're like okay. So the first like three or four dunes are like the actual story, and then the son kind of does all these like weird ass things. Okay. And I got, it got a lot of hate and stuff. So. <laughs> Was there like a basis thing? Because you know, Jay uh, Tolkien uh, based it off of like a war. Well, yeah. World War One was really crazy. And is yeah. Dune based off of? It? Well, so Dune. Oh well, yeah. So yeah, Star not- Wars got it got made because of Dune. So Lucas oh, was a shit. huge Dune fan. So with when the movie came out, the first one in the eighties of Dune, like there was no budget. They tried to make it like Star Wars. So Star Wars movie came out, and then Dune came out. They're like, we're going to be, be the new Star Wars. And it was terrible. Yeah. They didn't have the budget. They couldn't do it. So I'm glad they waited this long 
so they had the budget, they had the great director, had all the actors, and then they made like they made it right. The one in the eighties was not made right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think a lot of it. Yeah. It, it, it this movie, you know, even though it was made so long ago, it really uh, correlates to today's standards of uh, or or political ideas of um, oil, basically. And the movie, basically, yeah, they're spices, fighting, they're, they're oil, fighting, yeah, fighting for a thing called spices that gives them the power for uh, travel, for, for, flight, yeah, for travel, travel. get high so off it. So you can't have Thanksgiving. A desert uh, island <laughs> that has spice. <laughs> There's no Thanksgiving without spice. It's like, it's like the Middle East. They can't travel to another solar and, system. Yeah, places like that. <laughs> no, they're fighting for oil, like it's yeah. Saudi Arabia, and uh, you know you have the bad people coming for it, and you have people who are willing to work with them or yeah. good people coming for them. And, yeah, it's like like the... the it's like modern day stuff. <laughs> one of yeah. the, I think the characters was just like, I've seen many of your kind come here. Mm -hmm. Good, bad, and it's, just, it's all the same. Yeah. yeah. You guys, you're just here for the spice. Yeah, and actually, um, uh, George Martin, the Game of Thrones author, he got all pretty much most of his ideas from Dune 2. Yeah, yeah it, makes, it makes sense yeah. too. Like when you look at the family stat, stature mm -hmm. in, the, in the... And then who Paul is, like, is he the chosen? You know, like, yeah. you have the, that in every story. You know, whether, whether it's Luke, Anakin, or Jon Snow, which is like, to me, Jon Snow is like Paul, you know. And it's always a, kind of like a half-breed, basically. Yeah. Or, uh, something you don't expect. Somebody always trying to prove something. Yeah. Right? So... True. Yeah, we loved it. I, I, yeah. I we saw it in IMAX. Like, yeah. We saw it in IMAX. I thought it was a four star movie. Yeah. I loved it. I love every minute of it. I saw it on my 42 inch TV. <laughs> HBO good. Max. H HBO Max. Yeah. Everyone was asleep. My kid, my wife, and I was able to watch it drunk. There you Hell go. Yeah. Nice. Enjoy it even better. Hell yeah. Bobby? You just I have it? not seen it. Oh, hell yeah. Black. Wow. Black. I like that review better. Oh, and the Hans Zimmer score. You know, because oh, you can't right. have an epic movie with that Hans Zimmer. Oh, no yeah, way. So everything just, yeah. the whole movie just, everything just put together. So you know, one of the like, best uh, uh, movie orchestra producers ever, Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's something to look forward yeah. to. My, I think my favorite is uh, the Interstellar score, when I yeah. think he just falls asleep on his organ, you know, just... <laughs> that's how he makes it. Are you serious? He just falls asleep. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Ask him. I'm asking right now. <laughs> it just sounded good and we went to listen to it again. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. Cancel this podcast. I want to ask him right now. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. I was going to talk to him. Get him on the podcast. Actually, Let's one go. of my friends that I uh, <laughs> used to make music with interned for him. Oh, no way. And uh, kind of like a funny thing is like, so she went to music school for like uh, piano playing, like uh, live, live playing. And uh, she said that Hans, like, isn't a good uh, performance player. He he writes really well. He could tell other people what to play. But when it came to like performance of Hans, like he he's that not that. Yeah. So a little tidbit. A little sloppy toppy. Yeah. A little sloppy. Yeah. yeah. So Hans is like, play this for me. Oh wait, some yeah. people have it that way, man. Yeah. Just like uh, music producers, you know, they just they, they got the idea. They have the year. The year. Yeah. The, you play. It. You guys play. It. You got this. No, that's dope. Yeah. You yeah. guys should definitely watch Doom. Watch it when your wife and kids are asleep. And yeah. trust me, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, no one in Trump. Because you do have to listen. You have to listen to everything they're saying. Yeah. And, uh, oh. It's like the Godfather, basically. You can't miss a word that they're saying. Yeah, I think the only bad thing is, like, I think we've gotten so used to seeing movies and stuff in our homes because of COVID yeah. that we, I think we all put subtitles on. So Dune, I couldn't hear a lot of the words that they were saying. So, like, I'm almost, like, excited for it to, like, to, for me to watch it at home so I could put on subtitles <laughs> See, and, uh, they're saying I'm like oh there's well, even stuff in Lord of the Rings I, don't, I didn't know what they said until well, yeah, this I, year I, I, I don't remember certain things but you but when you're watching it even though you might not understand what they're saying like you still understand just by watching the scene yeah mm -hmm. but uh, yeah well, I, I would say watching it in theaters it's one of those epic films that you need to watch in theaters so we need to start going back to the theaters and yeah. watching movies we're gonna do Eternals this week Oh yeah, we're gonna do Eternals. So yeah, probably watching a Dolby. Dolby, Dolby dude. Yeah, I don't anything? think I can watch anything else like aside yeah. from Dolby. Dolby, Dolby is just <clears> that sound quality. You guys heard anything about Eternals yet? Is it good? Uh, yeah. Well, so it got bad reviews. I think like the second to worst bad reviews for Marvel movies. What? But you know, people I talk to who are more uh, uh, educated uh, on the movie educated story? on like even the story, the comics and stuff. The they said it was really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. it was really good and. Uh, 
So you just, know, I'm trusting that. Just because it doesn't have Iron Man and Captain America? Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, I think people are like scared of where Marvel's going to go, but yeah. you have to continue it. It's like so uncharted with like, territory. So yeah. It's like, yeah. Like you could, like comic readers, you know where they're going to build to, like multiverse, like all these things, Eternals oh. this way. Like, you know, you can have Cap and Iron Man forever. No. You know, but they're gonna do it different, and people don't like different things. Yeah, they like the familiar. Like well, they've been doing years, like, right? like a lot of yeah. different things since uh, Endgame. You know, they have their series that ties into what's gonna happen next. You know, was it three different series? They have the, the Scarlet Witch, the, um, the Loki. Uh, Loki was Loki, dope. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the, uh, Winter Soldier. The Winter, Winter Soldier yeah. and Falcon. What yeah. Is yeah. And you have Spider Man. Uh, Dude, I'm so excited. Uh, Spider- you see that trailer? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. bad this new Spider is gonna be so fucking. Dude, nice. Green Sounds Goblin like bringing back all the other Doc Ock and like yeah. all that shit. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. There's rumors that the old Spider Mans are gonna be in it. Yeah, it's been the biggest rumor, man. For all I know, they <laughs> started it. I swear to God, they probably started the whole rumor shit. Yeah. I was just talking about this with with someone like uh, we were talking about anime that we got into William Defoe and then how he's Green Goblin and how he's like everything he does is like amazing. Yeah. Him as Green Goblin, dude, there is not a better Green Goblin. No. Yeah. There'll never be. Nope. He did that shit perfect. Dude, he's one, I think he's one of the underrated uh, villains of all time. Yeah. Because he's, like, not even entirely a bad guy, either. He's like, he was Peter's best friend for the longest time, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, Peter looked up to him. I'm excited to see Tobey Maguire back, though. I know. That's right. That's going to be gonna badass. Be a trip. Do you really think he's going to be back? Oh, yeah, and oh, and Garfield's gonna be in it too. Garfield too. The cat. The cat. Oh <laughs> fuck! Where's yeah. my lasagna, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Go get some. Let's go. Fuck this podcast. So yeah, we got. Uh, I think we got a lot to a lot to look forward to Marvel, but out of all the Marvel stuff, I'm more excited about DC. The new Batman oh, yeah. coming out. The new Batman trip. Oh, fuck sick. Yeah. That shit looks fucking, fucking brutal, sick, man. Brutal. Yeah. Have you seen it? Uh, I mean, I like Batman, but it's like, man, you guys are rehashing the same shit over and over. It's How? just Batman, Batman, Batman. But come on, this looks different. This looks more brutal, more dark, more game. So it's like more like, um, damn, what is that? He was in, uh, like the Todd McFarlane style. I Spawn, I guess. Well, uh, okay, so like the it? reviews, so people, they did a screening of the Batman, and they said that it's more like a horror movie than anything. Oh. Mm. And I mean, just by the trailer, that thing was badass. I mean, it looks badass. And then they also have uh, 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 Snyder's universe, uh, the, uh, the Flash, coming out. And, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he, they do the, 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 based on the comic book, he goes, he, uh, Superman pretty much becomes bad. Yeah, Flashpoint. Mm-hmm. They haven't really, the trailer doesn't show oh, much, okay. but I'm just assuming. Because the Flash has to go into different dimensions to find Batman. Yes. And then he has to go back in time to find uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. Yeah. Okay. So, so at Michael the end Keaton's of that Batman's trailer, you see bad ears. With the long horns. Yeah. Long and ears. they're kind of cur- slightly curved. And then they indicated he unveils the uh, old original Batmobile. So, oh, sick. Because uh, yeah. in the Flashpoint, it's the old Batman that stops Superman, right? Yes. It's an old Batman. Yes, the very he's a so old, he's like I'm, in the '60s Batman that beats a. Uh, uh, better be Adam West with a kryptonite bullet, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm assuming it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, what's his name playing Superman versus uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. That would be sick, oh, dude. Yeah. Imagine uh, if it's Cavill, like, uh, imagine Henry if it's Cavill like Cavill Superman, yeah. George Clooney with the bat nipples. Oh, <laughs> be, bring the nipples back. <laughs> He's like, there should be Arnold back, right? Man. It's time to freeze. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited what DC's doing because they've always, what a great era in DC. As long as they keep Aww. the the uh, Snyder ideology of Remember it being nips. dark and stuff, yeah. I'm, I'm excited for that. Bring back I the think. nips. Bring back <laughs> the Batman <laughs> nips. That's all we Pierce. want. Batman. And then the the, the stiff Bat neck nips. where the, he oh, yeah. turned his old shoulders <laughs> to look at everybody. No, I thought it was really yeah. Yeah. I'm excited that uh, Flash is finally getting a standalone movie. Yeah, he is it's fucking. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's yeah. what this Flash is about. Yeah, there's a trailer out. The trailer's out. There's a trailer. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll have to show Brian now. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? It's still with uh, Ezra, right? Ezra. Yeah. I thought he played a really good Flash. You know, uh, at least in Snyder's version. And everybody was like really uh, questioning that role. Yeah. In the beginning, it was like Ezra and Ezra. What but the fuck? Everybody's like kind of like warming up to that feel because oh, people were so used to the uh, the CW Flash, yeah, which yeah. was pretty good. But 
Yeah, I, I mean, think this one goes more deep on what how oh, powerful man. Flash is. No, the things. Flash is like you know, the different dude, dimensions. CW Flash is cheesy. Oh my dude, god, dude! All this, dude. Yeah, dude, I see all I the clips of it. So we just ended talking about the flash. So we just wanted to end it up, just wrap it up there. Yeah, I'm just saying we're talking about the CW flash being trash. And... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my life. Yeah. So the CW flash trash, and uh, I think uh, uh, the direction Zack Snyder was going with the flash is really good, and hopefully they keep his ideas for this movie going forward. I mean, it sounds like it. Sounds epic. Hell yeah. Have, have you seen the Flashpoint? It's yeah, epic. the cartoon. You showed it to me. Oh, that shit's mm-hmm. fucking epic. Have you seen them? Is that you know, old Batman? When he meets, like, uh, the Flash tries to save his mom. So he goes back and plays. Right, and, yeah. like, fights he uh, meets, uh, Reverse uh, Flash, Thomas right? Wayne. He meets, uh, it was it, uh, Bruce Wayne's mom becomes a Joker. Like, it's all like a fucking... <laughs> Actually, no, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, never Superman mind. never fucking sees the sunlight. They kept him in the capsule at Metropolis. Whoa. So he's all skinny. He doesn't... And then, like, he's like, oh, the Flash is like, oh, Superman's like the most OP guy here. And they're like, are you sure? He's all scared of people. And, wow. and, and then when they show him the sun, he starts to fly and his eyes are like shooting laser beams everywhere because he doesn't want to control it. Damn. He's been in like an experiment for like 20, 30 years. That's what I like about DC too. Is like they're not afraid to go super dark. Yeah, they're too dark. Yeah. They, they, have more, they have more of a realism to their Real, stories too. Uh, if they were real superheroes. That, yeah, like I'd be that route. How much destruction DC? They would do. Yeah, yeah. they would be really fucked up. Did any of you guys see the boys? Yeah, and I was like, dude, yeah. that's like it's all based on DC characters. Yeah, basically, it's, yeah, yeah, it's DC. But like, like, if if superheroes were like corrupt and bad, like yeah. Damn, dude, that shit was like messed the, up. That Flash guy, right? The, yeah. What is his name? Yeah. Lightning? Um, or, yeah. People he would kill just running past him. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. see that scene yeah. where he ran through the guy's yeah. girlfriend? Yeah, he ran through his beginning. girlfriend. He, yeah, he couldn't he stop died. it. He just died. He just, she's just splattered. Oh, shit. And he's like, oh, shit. I'm so sorry, man. I gotta yeah. go. I gotta go. And he just runs back again. He just smashed her. It's so, they did such a good job of like showing the other side of that yeah. destruction, you know? I like that part when that main Superman like character. Yeah. And Homelander. Homelander. Yeah, Homelander. Yeah. He's like giving a speech and they're like, boo. Yeah. And then he has like in his head, he, he so imagined pissed. them like, you know what? Forget you guys. He like laser beams half the yeah. crowd. Yeah. There's like a thousand yeah. people. Yeah, there's yeah. like a thousand people. He like kills them all. And then he's like, goes back to his head. He's like, <laughs> Alright guys, you know, like he, that that's what he was thinking though. He was thinking of laser beam them all. <laughs> like, oh shit. Hey, so good. So good, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. All right. This was our Thanksgiving episode. All right. We had our guest Bobby joining us. Yeah. Yep. Mr. Robert from Bali Ruin. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, yes, Travis from Weneca. DJ Kaja. Dead King. And uh, what song are we gonna end it on? Oh yeah. So um, usually uh, the songs I play some uh, unreleased original material. So this one I'm working on with uh, Organic Fire and uh, Andrew. So um, it's called a Dungeon House of Rap. So it's kind of like a family effort. I tried to do like hip hop, but I put um, I put a metal guitar in there. Oh, so nice. I yeah. so I tuned my guitar down to drop C sharp, and I fucking you know nice. played it. So it's still a work in progress, but you know it should be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, here it is. In a rented tux, Jimmy Hendrix drugs in my watermelon punch. Stuff the swisher off the Richter. Such a force for incentive in your ends. It's the fucking mister. Organic tailored for the raider. On some paper, he is the master at this. Hold in favor, give him a round for that. He's always down the rap. Doing a thousand laps in the dungeon house of rap. As I come through chillin', spun boom, krillin', one, two, drillin', sun drew, spillin', Andrew, 
hidden sand dunes, bamboo, stick it to the man do, and then get to ripping it, Mike gripping it, I stomped out the cigarette, nickel red, and I'm rich, beyond prince, hit the chest, so I know where it's at, the flow is, the flow is bad. Life. Ran like the dash fly. Now I'm into rap like ninjas. Ninja. Bl- 